Hey guys, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Titan Chain Snow Alloy Tire Chains here on our 2019 GMC Acadia. Now this can be an excellent way of getting you a lot of track and whether you have any muck or mire up ahead of you, definitely gonna do a great job of biting through that snow and ice. Taking a look here, you can see we do have a little self tensioner on this guy, which makes it great as we don't have to purchase any other rubber tensioners. It is gonna be staying nice and concise to the entirety of our wheel while it is on here. That installation isn't gonna take too much time at all as we'll break down further in video. But taking a closer look at these chains, you can see we are having a square link here today with a diamond style pattern across the entirety of our tire here. So you can, what that's getting you, you're getting a lot of good coverage of your chain across the entirety of the wheel. That means we're not losing any traction as we rotate and I think with that too you know if you're looking at this compared to like ladder styles ladder styles are gonna do great start and stop is really gonna start feeling those mounds of that chain as you're rolling however you start losing a little bit of that turning radius as you do so a little less turning capabilities the time the diamond pattern gonna give you good coverage the entire time so even when you are making those turns and those stops you are getting a nice chain that's gonna be underneath you biting through that snow and ice getting you wherever you need to go or getting you out of wherever you are stuck well the installation is gonna to take too much time at all let's go ahead and take a look for our first part of our installation we're going to go ahead and lay out all of our chains here but we want to look for any kind of kinks or links or any kind of binds in our chain now a lot of times with these guys what ends up happening is your little plastic rod here kind of finds itself in through one of these chains kind of side usually all it takes is for you to actually kind of undo that that's usually going to be your biggest hold up with these guys but as you can see not having any kind of links or anything that are getting caught up one thing we want to make note of too, we want to have our smooth side actually facing towards us as we are bringing this around our wheel and back up on top of it. So we want to make sure that this hard point of contact where that could potentially damage our wheel or our tire isn't going to be actually poking into it. So now that we have everything nice and cleaned up here, I want to go ahead, kind of bundle these guys. Again, trying to make sure I'm not making any kind of kinks in the chain as I do so. Let me kind of sling this guy across our tire here. And then we would take our ends, and as we do so, we can kind of pull our chain all the way up and across a little bit here. And then make our first connection with both of these elements in the back here. And as we do that, I can start feeding my chain all across my wheel. Once I feel pretty well set, I'm going to go ahead and make my first connection at the top on the front with those green little link right there and start setting my chains appropriately across my wheel. I've gone ahead and got myself caught here. Once I just kind of jiggle it out a little bit. And then this is our tensioner here. We're going to take this right around our little red choker here. Pulling this guy nice and tight. You can actually even loop this guy through the ends here. And then we can try to pull this guy across and into the other side of our chain. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not really liking how much this is actually kind of making contact with my rim here. I'm gonna go ahead and retry and reseat it all. So I've gone ahead and adjusted it, as you can see, definitely fitting a lot better for ourselves. The big thing that we did, we took these guys and we put it to that third link there, as you can see. Now these guys would kind of dangle around. They're not gonna do anything really crazy to us. If you are worried about that making contact with our rim, we could go ahead and snip those guys. That way they aren't taking up any space, not be causing any kind of ruckus. As you saw too, getting that nice self-tensioner in there does a great job making sure we are staying nice and concise across the entirety of our wheel. So as you saw, that installation didn't take too much time at all. One thing to take note, you will notice we have the on the front tire here. Now today on our KD, we do have a front wheel drive, so we've gone ahead and thrown it up on here. Now a lot of them are, are, are all wheel drive vehicles. We still recommend putting up front. You do have a lot of weight up there. Gonna do a great job putting that pressure down, allowing you to churn through that snow and ice and get you out of wherever you need to be. Keep in mind, this is also made of a manganese nickel, nickel alloy, so it is gonna be holding up well to rust and corrosion. Not gonna have any of those elements really impacting this too much. And of course, as you saw, that didn't take too much time to throw up on there. Now, one thing to take note though too, the Acada does have kind of a small kind of space between you and your shock, so you're on your tire, and then that hub assembly. So I don't really think we can actually get anything too much more than these square links that we have on today. I definitely think we'd be okay getting a twisted link. So if you are needing just a little bit more heavy duty application, unfortunately, I think that's gonna be our 
extreme max there as V-bars, I think, are just gonna put us too close to that inner kind of uh, assembly on our shocks there. So these guys are gonna do a great job. If you are needing a little bit of a heavier duty application, I'd start looking at some twisted links. But I think that about does it for a look at the Titan Chain Snow Tire Chains here on our 2019 GMC Acadia. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.